An update now on breaking news. After just a few hours of deliberating, a jury found a Philadelphia man guilty of murdering a Temple University student back in 2017. NBC 10's Matt Delucia has been in the courtroom for the past few days. He joins us live outside the Criminal Justice Center with reaction to today's verdict. Matt. Right, Keith, the jury got the case about 2.15 this afternoon, about 3.45, close to 4 o'clock. They came back and said they had a verdict. It was read at 4 o'clock, and it was found the first-degree murder uh, for Josh Hooperters, among other charges as well, he was found guilty of, and uh, most importantly, found guilty of killing Jenna Burley back in August of 2017. So those lesser charges are also abuse of a corpse, the sentence, life without parole, plus four and a half to nine years for those lesser charges. This trial, uh, it is going on for almost two weeks. Today, we heard the closing arguments. Prosecutors nailed down what happened, that Josh Hooperters was with Jenna Burley at a bar near Temple campus in August of 2017. They left together and went back to his apartment where Jenna was strangled and beaten. Her body stuffed into a bin and Hooperters took that bin up to a rural property belonging to his grandparents. The defense tried to convince the jury that Hooperters' roommate may have been the one responsible for this. Upstairs, after the verdict, Jenna's family read impact statements and outside the courtroom just minutes ago, we heard their thoughts. First, you're going to hear from Jenna's father, then the prosecutor, and finally Josh Hooperters' attorney, Reed reacting to this verdict. Obviously, we're very pleased with the outcome. Uh, we feel justice has been served for Jenna. Even through his attempts to pin this crime on an innocent man, the jury saw through that and they convicted him of first degree murder. Were you surprised by how fast the jury came back? Well, again, this was a very, very difficult case for me to try. There was a lot of evidence. Anybody who was in the courtroom saw the amount of evidence there was. And his attorney also said that uh, this is Jenna's day. He said that Josh was prepared for this outcome and that he will appeal. Live at the Criminal Justice Center, Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News.